Assalamu alaikum and welcome dear students to the next lecture of mechanics of machine. So today the topic that we are going to discuss is mechanism and structures. Uh, before moving to the formal topic, uh, just I, I mentioned, I would like to mention that um, my intentions with this online lecture is that, that I shall deliver the topic, uh, the concepts and the terminologies in a very simple and naive way uh, so that you can get what I discuss and if you have some questions or queries then please ask it uh, via Google Classroom or WhatsApp group. So please feel, uh, please feel free to ask any type of question. Uh, don't hesitate. Um, and you can ask question in, 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 in Urdu or if, if um, it's difficult for you to even ask question in the Urdu, then you can speak in your native language. Uh, and uh, I will try my level best to answer the questions and queries that you have. Um, you already know that we are uh, delivering this lecture via Google Classroom, uh, but also a WhatsApp group has been formulated by Danish Musaddiq. I'm thankful to Danish that um, for taking the initiative. You can also ask any type of question via WhatsApp group. Um, in the future, I will try to uh, upload the lecture to WhatsApp group as well. So let's see and hope for the best. Um, so the first thing that I would like to share with you guys is to differentiate between the mechanism and structure. Uh, in principle, if you just focus on these three figures uh, down at the bottom, uh, then you will see that the first figure from uh, your left hand side um, uh, if you count the number of links and the number of joints, then you will figure out the degree of freedom of uh, this mechanism. For example, let's do the exercise. We know the formula uh, to find the degree of freedom or mobility, which is m is equal to 3 multiplied by l minus 1, bracket close, minus 2j. l is the number of links, j the number of joints, and M is the mobility or degree of freedom. So in this structure, uh, on this mechanism, um, let's count the number of links. So here's the link number one, which is a ground link or fixed link, link number two, link number three, and link number four. So four links. Let's count the number of uh, joints, one joint, two joint, three joint, and four joint. So four joint, put the values in the formula and you will get answer mobility or degree of freedom is equal to one. Uh, the same exercise for the uh, mechanism number two. So let's first count the number of um, links. So the first link is the ground link or the fixed link, second link and third link. Three links put the value in the formula or equation, find the number of joints, one joint, two joint, three joint. Put the value and you will get mobility or degree of freedom is equal to zero. The third type of uh, mechanism, uh, let's use the same formula and put the values of links and uh, joints. So count number of link, one is the ground link or fixed link, second, the link up upward in the D shape or you can say the C shape or the uh, fixed uh, joint so two joints one and two uh, sorry two links one and two link link is equal to two number of joints one and two so you will get mobility or degree of freedom is equal to minus one so now we have to um, define and differentiate between mechanism and structures. Mechanism, um, 
anything which in which in, in any mechanism um, in any of the mechanism if there is some motion um, then uh, the mechanism is scar mechanism but if in any of the mechanism there is no motion at all or um, it means the degree of freedom is equal to zero then the mechanism is referred to as structure and if any of the mechanism um, there is no motion but the degree of freedom is in negative just as this third example where degree of freedom is minus one so this will be a classical example of preloaded structure I will define um, three terms again in mechanics of machine If we refer to mechanism if there is a motion just as example number one the degree of freedom in um, in example one or a is plus one so this represent a mechanism so it's a combination of links and joints and so this is referred to as mechanism because there is a motion uh, you can see that uh, the the bottom part is fixed uh, if uh, these two links at this joint if it rotates then these two links at this joint it will also move so there is some motion in this type of um, links and joints combination so it's called uh, it's referred as a mechanism so mechanism is related to the motion whenever there is a motion in the combination of link and joint then we call it mechanism but if there is no motion at all in the in the in the in the combination of links and joints then the combination of links and joints will be called structure and not the mechanism so this combination of uh, links and joints is called structure because um, there is no movement at all in in this combination of link and joint so this represent a classical example of structure whatever you do the the links or any of the joint will not move the third and a classical example of pre-loaded structure uh, where degree of freedom is in negative so again it's a classical example of this structure because it's a combination of links and joints but there's no movement at all unfortunately the degree of freedom if you count it via formula it will be a negative and it will have some number so this negative number uh, basically it represents a preloaded structure because um, as you can see there's a deformation in the in the link and the link is deformed into the c shape uh, so whenever there's a deformation in the any of the link then there as you know that the the molecule inside the material they they resist this bending motion and they will try to um, retain its original straight shape so this c shape uh, if if you if you disjoint like if you remove this joint and remove this joint then this c type of structure will try to retain its original shape like a straight shape um, so this straight bar this straight bar uh, was transformed into the c shape and if you remove these joints then um, this bar will try to uh, regain its original shape um, so uh, this means that there are some internal stresses in this structure if you um, if you join this link the c-shaped link with the fixed link 
so there will be stresses inside this uh, c-shape bar uh, unfortunately this type of uh, um, combination of links and joint will not move there's no motion degree of freedom is is, is, um, is uh, zero but if you count by the formula the answer will be minus one so this minus one represent the structure with the preloaded stresses and the stresses are because um, the link the straight link is deformed into the C link and the, it's uh, fixed at both the ends to the ground link so if there is a negative number so again it will be a classical example of pre loaded structure if degree of freedom is zero then you can you, you can say the combination of links and joint as a structure if degree of freedom is one or more uh, then combination of link and joint can be referred as mechanism. I will repeat again, mechanism, if you call um, any combination of links and joint as a mechanism, if there is some motion, and if there is no motion at all, the degree of freedom is either zero or negative, then it will be an example of structure.